Well, we want to look at the border, immigration and customs enforcement, looking at a $700 million budget shortfall now. Uh, that could push the agency into being forced to release thousands of migrants into the population and cut detention levels by 16,000, uh, from 38,000 to now 22,000. A Washington Post report says that ICE has, quote, drafted plans to release thousands of migrants, uh, immigrants, and slash its capacity to hold detainees after the failure of the Senate border bill. Joining me right now is from former acting ICE director, Heritage Foundation visiting fellow, and Fox News contributor Tom Homan. Tom, good to see you. Thanks very much. It's not just a national security issue. This is also fast becoming an economic issue. Your reaction? You know, it's, it's incredible how this administration wants to mislead the American people, actually lie to the American people. What people need to understand is Secretary Mayorkas asked for 700, almost $700 million less for, for ICE's enforcement removal operation, which had control of the beds. So he asked for $700 million less, now all of a sudden he's, he's claiming poverty. And look, the, he, he's asked for less detention beds every year he's been there. All three years, it went from 34000 to 25000 So he asked for a 25% cut in the beds. And, and ISIS canceled numerous detention contracts. So again, this is by design. They don't want to detain these people. They're trying to flip the script on the Republicans because they didn't pass a terrible Senate bill and saying we got to release people because of the Republicans. No, that was your plan from day one. That's why you asked for $700 million less for detention capability, and that's why you cut beds by 25%. That's the truth, but this administration won't tell the American people why this happened. So we're talking about, what, 300,000 illegal migrants in a single month in December. We've got 10 million illegal in this country on, on Joe Biden's watch, and much of this is happening during the colder months. We're going into the spring and the summer soon. Do you expect this situation to get worse? I think numbers are going to go up, absolutely do, but I know that Mexico has stepped up enforcement efforts in the last two months, and numbers in Texas have went down, and I think the reason they've done that is because Mexico certainly doesn't want a, a new president. No, they don't want a President Trump. So they, they much rather help this administration cut the numbers down a little bit so it helps them in the reelection campaign. But look, the people, people got to understand, why did it take them three years to ask Mexico to step up to the plate? Why? Yeah. Most people are close to an election. Because they haven't asked Mexico to do a damn thing in three years, and all of a sudden Mexico steps up enforcement efforts to move the numbers down a little bit. Mm. This is all to do about the election and politics. Well, what are your thoughts about these Chinese migrants coming in, um, Chinese nationals coming in, pouring over the southern border, surging since this time last year? Uh, Customs and Border Protection reported more than 20,000 Chinese nationals have illegally crossed the border since the new fiscal year began, and that's just since October 1st. The migrants say that they received step-by-step -step instructions from TikTok on where to go, how to cross the border. Um, and, you know, we know that they're largely military-aged men, Tom. What's your reaction to this? Where they're coming through and they're coming to California, I was actually a border patrol agent there. I patrolled that area thousands of times. And we're lucky we had 50 apprehensions a month. Now they're, now they're getting thousands of Chinese coming through that area. And, Maria, you and I have talked about this for two years. My biggest concern on the southwest border being wide open is a national security concern. We got people from 180 different countries coming across that border. Many of these countries are sponsored with terror. Many of these countries don't like us, specifically the Chinese. We're seeing tens of thousands of military-aged males coming across. China is not our friend. And, and the Border Patrol can say, well, we vet them, we check them. The vetting is only as good as the information that's available to us. There's, China is not sharing national security information with the United States. They're certainly not going to share any information about a Chinese national coming here to spy or, 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 or do things against the United States. So, again, I, I've said this for two years, the vetting. The vetting is only as good as, as the information that we have available to us. We can run NCIC all day and triple I. Yeah. But unless we get information from China, who these people are, uh, we can't guarantee they're not a national security threat. You know, China tops the asylum charts. We're looking at this. And, and, and there was a story in the Daily Mail the other day that uh, if they get rejected in terms of asylum, Beijing won't even take them back. They say, oh, no, we're not repatriating them. We don't even believe that they're Chinese. Uh, what are they doing here? I know that there are police stations in America, a China police station, Chinese police station. Why is there a Chinese police station down in Chinatown when we have police? We have the NYPD in New York. Why are they coming here? Is, is that partly what they could do? They'll go to their police stations? Are they distributing fentanyl? Or are they actually running from persecution? 
I, I think their asylum claims are false. Just like, and, and we mentioned all the time, these asylum seekers, asylum seekers. People need to understand, based on immigration court data over the last 10 years, nine out of 10 people who claim asylum at our border never get relief from U.S. courts because they're simply not eligible for asylum. They're using a loophole in the system to come to the country, be released, and never leave. But the issue with China, you, you made a good point just earlier. When I was ICE director, my biggest problem was getting China to take their people back. We, we, we had hundreds and hundreds of Chinese with final orders of removal that China refused to take back. Right. And we just can't put them on an airplane and take them over there. They have to give us travel documents. They have to accept them. And to this day, China pushes back on the United States by taking any of their nationals back on our deportation it's, order. It's very disturbing that they look like well dressed. They look like, I mean, they look like, China, you know, military aged men. I don't know if they're being directed by Xi Jinping to be saboteurs later on in the year and create havoc in case Trump wins. I don't know. But I want to get your take on what this administration is telling uh, American citizens to do about this. Are they encouraging people to take people in? Because a Massachusetts couple is housing migrant families in their home. Boston City Councilwoman uh, told people everybody should be opening their doors. The state is facing backlash over claims that it's putting the weight of the migrant crisis on lower-income communities after converting a state-run community shelter into a migrant shelter earlier this month. Tom, we see these stories in all big cities, but now you've got actual families taking in illegals. Uh, your thoughts? Well, first of all, let me, let me foot stomp your last comment. This is the biggest national security failure I've seen in this nation since 9-11. That's just scared the hell out of everybody, these Chinese nationals coming across. But you're right. Look, this isn't a citizen's responsibility. This is the federal government's failure. They could secure the border tomorrow. President Biden, by a stroke of a pen, could secure the border more by putting the Remain in Mexico program back in, yeah. put the Third Safe Country agreements back in, and forcing Mexico to, to put military on their southern northern border, just like President Trump did. This isn't rocket science. They have the game plan. They have a plan for success that we proved was the most successful, most secure border in my lifetime. They refuse to do it. Yeah. They don't want to secure the border. So I, any American United States, do not fall for this plan of taking illegal aliens into your home. They're not asylum seekers. They're taking advantage of a process. They're taking advantage of loopholes. They will be ordered removed and they have to be removed. Just extraordinary. Thank you, Tom. We will keep following this. We appreciate your time. Tom Holman joining us today. We'll be right back.